Good morning, everybody. So today I picked something out of the book of Mark. Uh, I'm reading out of uh, chapter 8, and I'm going to be reading verses 14 through 21. All right, here we go. And they had forgotten to take bread and did not have more than one loaf in the boat with them. And he was giving orders to them, saying, Watch out! Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. They began to discuss with one another the fact that they had no bread. And Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you discuss the fact that you have no bread? Do you not yet see or understand? Do you have a hardened heart? Having eyes do you not see? And having ears, do you not hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand? How many baskets full of broken pieces you picked up? They said to him, Twelve. When I broke the seven for the four thousand, how many large baskets full of broken pieces did you pick up? And they said to him, Seven. And he was saying to them, do you not yet understand? So I read this passage and it, you know, it, it kind of makes you think, you know, makes me think anyways, you know, how many times am I like these guys? I am so preoccupied with what I have or don't have here and now in the physical world that I forget about what really is important, which is our spiritual well-being. Uh, you know, and also for the fact that why am I so focused on what's going on now with what I have or don't have in the physical world that I'm just completely dismissing that Jesus is going to take care of me, whatever I need. I just have to have faith and belief. And, and it's just kind of like, whoa, kind of, it's kind of a gut check for me because it, this, this thing makes me realize, you know, how worldly, in my being, you know, how doubtful in my being of Jesus Christ, who will provide everything for me that is good for me. I mean, his apostles helped serve um, these two different large groups with very little. You know, Jesus blessed it, broke it, gave it to them, and they served them, and there was an abundance, an abundance left over. That's Jesus' love for us. It overflows. He's going to make sure that we have what we need. And in some cases, we're going to get more than what we need. And, uh, and the reference to uh, the leaven of, of the Pharisees and, and of Herod He's trying to warn the disciples to be careful of them because they um, they think they they are better than everyone as far as the relationship with God. So they puff themselves up, so to speak, and put themselves on a pedestal this high, and everybody else is like way down here. They think that they're holier than everybody in the world and and that's a detriment to them you know that's not going to serve them any purpose you know that's that's where the being concerned about the spiritual realm about being watchful and concerned for your own eternal salvation with God and with Christ. 
you know, and to watch out for those who are going to actually, quite frankly, lead you astray, too. I mean, but yeah, we need to always be in a spiritual mindset when it comes to things. Um, we want to be careful that we don't harden our hearts to Jesus and to the Lord or not see him or not hear, not see the things that he's done for us or, or hear from the Holy Spirit because we're so consumed about our here and now woe is me situation. Um, or, and then we need to be aware of those who think they have it all and know it all and blindly follow them along. You know, um, it's, it's, it's a very good gut check to have, you know, Jesus is like, you need to understand. Do you still not understand who I am, what I can do for you, and how I'll provide for you, and how I will not let you slip away? That That's exactly how I take that. It's like Jesus has given me a wake-up call. Stop worrying about your situation. You know, be careful of those who think that they're more righteous than you are. Because they're themselves are blind to God's will and to Jesus' will. Um, so, just kind of my, my thoughts on the day. That's what I get out of that. And I hope, I hope, uh, I pray that I'm correct in my assessment on this. But for me, I feel like this is what Jesus is telling me today on, on that. On this particular patch is it patch sage here in mark sorry getting tongue tied this morning but anyways i love you guys and uh i'll see you tomorrow bye